guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl. Today we're going to be talking about some rumours about a new show potentially happening after Supergirl ends on the CW. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so as you guys know, Supergirl is ending, that being Melissa Benoist and the CW's version of Supergirl. The series finale is going to be airing sometime around mid-November, and that is going to be the final time you're going to see Melissa as Supergirl probably ever, although there is a chance that she could show up in future Supergirl films with the new DCEU Supergirl Sasha Calais. And so with that in mind, this potential news about a new Supergirl show isn't that surprising, but at the same time it's quite shocking. But we are going to go into it, but take it all with a big grain of salt because we haven't got official confirmation. It is from a pretty reliable source, however it isn't something like TV Line where you know for sure their facts are absolutely on the ball. So that hashtag show is reporting that Sasha Kale's Supergirl is due for her own show. I'm reading off of a comic book rant article, that is where I'm getting this, I'll leave a link in the description below. So they say... So, Sasha Kelly's Girl of Steel will arrive in the Flashpoint-inspired solo movie for the Scarlet Speedster, The Flash, and the series is apparently being worked on at the moment, with word that it will explore the character's backstory and detail just how she winds up in The Flash. Though details on the film are scarce, that being the Flash film, it seems that the plot will inspire lots of questions about the Kryptonian, which the show will seek to answer. According to the report, Superman will not be appearing on the show. Okay, and just moving on to the next point, Supergirl was first announced as a film in 2018, and the production seemed to be gearing up in 2019. It's not clear what changed things, though the pandemic and the plans of The Flash could have played a role. But somewhere along the way, the film seems to have transformed into this series, according to that hashtag show, the prospect of cramming all the characters' origin story into a movie just didn't seem possible and so yeah that is pretty much what we've got right now and this is obviously a report it's more so of a rumor that apparently they aren't going forward with the Supergirl film they had planned many years ago but instead are going the HBO Max series route which they are doing with some of the other characters you know you've got the Green Lantern show coming up and there is a couple of other shows obviously Superman Lois is an HBO Max show but also with the CW at the moment and all of it is linked into the Arrowverse as a whole, so there is potential for big crossovers in the future, and I think the idea of putting Supergirl's origin story into a show obviously has been done, but I would be interested to see this version of Supergirl because she's evidently quite different, and I feel like her origins are going to be different from Melissa Benoist's version of Supergirl on the CW. Obviously, it didn't go into like full detail about her origin, Bits and pieces are told over the last few seasons where we get knowledge of basically her upbringing, but it's more so about her time on Earth and developing as a human, developing as Kara Danvers, and also developing as Supergirl on Earth. So I think everyone is pretty excited about Sasha Kelly's version of Supergirl. I think mainly just for the fact that we are finally getting a film version of Supergirl. Like, Melissa's version is amazing, she is the best, and there will never be anyone better than her. I think it's going to be pretty damn hard to get better than Melissa as Supergirl. However, it is exciting that we can have the two of them playing very different versions of Supergirl, so you get the both sides of it. Obviously, it's worked out with Grant and Ezra. Still, Grant is more popular, even though Ezra's been in the films. We'll see how that goes, obviously, when the Flash film comes out. But Ezra, for instance, came over in Crisis on Infinite Earths, and his version of the Flash became the Flash because of Grant Gustin's Flash. So could something similar like this happen for Sasha Kelly's version of Supergirl, being influenced by Melissa's Supergirl? I definitely think it's possible, and there's always a chance that Melissa is going to do a cameo, say in the TV show, or maybe in the Flash film, or if the Supergirl film ever gets made. There is always a chance. But... I do actually want to go back to the idea of having a Supergirl show post when Supergirl on the CW ends. Obviously it's bittersweet, like I'm looking forward to the finale and everything for Supergirl, but it's going to be gone for good, and so that is a bad thing, right? However, it is very kind of 
comforting that DC and Warner Brothers want to continue the Supergirl legacy, even though it's not going to be with Melissa Benoist, it will still be within that world and within the Arrowverse, it's just going to be like an alternate version of Supergirl from another Earth, and I really like the idea of having another show post Supergirl's ending. It's kind of like a revival show or a continuation, but like a different version of her. So what do you guys think about all of this? Would you be excited to see an HBO Max Supergirl show? I definitely would, especially after we see the Flash film. I've got a good feeling that Sasha is going to be pretty good as Supergirl. So after that film, I feel like people are going to be asking for the show or film, you know, a continuation with Sasha's character. And so there is something else interesting that's brought up in the CBR article that I'm reading off of. So they say the other interesting news is that Michael Keaton's Dark Knight, who all signs point to being the same characters from the two Tim Burton Batman films, will share a bond with Supergirl in the film. Reportedly, that relationship will carry over to the TV series, though the outlet says Keaton might not reprise the role as the show seems to take place before The Flash. Still, with the movie taking place in the DCEU multiverse, anything is possible. I like the idea that there is a connection between this classic legacy version of Batman to one of these new characters. Potentially behind the scenes, like off screen, maybe they already have met by the time of the Flash film. Obviously we'll just have to wait and see when the film actually comes out. But nevertheless, I'm excited to see what Supergirl has to offer in the Flash film. And CBR also goes on to say, HBO Max has been steadily expanding its DC offerings along with a number of theatrical movies that will have debuted on HBO Max and existing series that have moved over as exclusives. Warner Brothers is developing multiple movies and TV shows set to debut on the streaming service. Along with the potential Supergirl series, two spin-offs of The Batman are in the works. One focus on the GCPD, and another one centered around Colin Farrell's Penguin. There's also the long in development Green Lantern series, which has been filling out its cast. On the feature side, Blue Beetle and Batgirl are both getting HBO Max exclusive films. So, yeah, it's true, HBO Max is really taking the big leap towards lots of DC content on their service, and as I've mentioned many times before, I think it makes complete sense that they want to capitalize on the success of the CW show because it's very popular. People know Supergirl now because of this show and because of Melissa and, you know, even the comics have been influenced by the show. So it's definitely a thing that they are going to want to continue. I don't think they're going to want to throw away the Supergirl IP straight away. I mean, I think it's half of the reason why Supergirl is in the Flash film, because you wouldn't expect Supergirl to show up in a Flash film necessarily, but now you would because of the Flash and Supergirl crossovers on the CW with Grant and Melissa. And so through the Arrowverse, they forged this special connection between these two quite different characters, but now they are translating it into the DCU and continuing what the Arrowverse has done, obviously with different characters, which I think is very, very exciting. But nevertheless, Get Ready Guys is going to be very exciting as we head towards when The Flash is coming out, it's coming out next year, we've got DC Fandom coming up in just under a month's time, it's going to be October 16th, potentially we could get some more teasers there in regards to Sasha Kale Supergirl, I believe that was where the announcement was last year, or maybe it was a bit after DC Fandom. However, we're probably going to get like some more teasers to do with the Flash film, and I'm sure there's going to be more announcements in regards to the DC projects that they are currently developing for HBO Max, and maybe the Supergirl show gets mentioned in the mix of all of this. But for now, remember guys, Supergirl is continuing to air on the CW, until mid-November, we're making videos all the time on the show, so if you don't want to miss any videos, please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new to get notified about every video that posts. Also, leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed the video, it really helps out. You can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video, but for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.